Having exhibitions such as this one are extremely important for the university and the community. We were able to get the Patrick Kelly exhibition here at JSU by reaching out to the Philadelphia Museum of the Art and also through the owners of his estate. They wanted to ensure that the exhibition was being used for educational purposes for the students and for the community. A lot of them were shocked to find out that he was from Mississippi and he also attended Jackson State. We wanted to bring the Patrick Kelly exhibition here to shine a light on a man who hadn't received the credit that he deserved. He was a fashion genius, so we wanted to shine a positive light on his life and legacy and provide a platform for our students to learn and to grow from what he had done. Because it just reiterates our mission. Exposure plus experience equals lifelong learning. We were able to expose our community and our students, and that experience of attending this fashion show provided them with lifelong learning. And that was not just for the JSU community, but it was for our community beyond. I was extremely honored that um, Sean asked me to do the Patrick Kelly exhibit. I had heard about Patrick Kelly, but as soon as I Googled him and really did a little research, it really hit me how massive it was to be doing pieces inspired by Patrick Kelly since he's from this area and he, since he was such a well-known designer. The inspirations for the designs of the show came from me Googling Patrick Kelly. I looked at his work from the beginning all the way to the end, and I decided to focus more on his embellishments. He was known for embellishments, but he could do it all. So I didn't want it to be too scattered, so I just focused mostly on his embellished work. I was excited when Sean contacted me. He was a fashion designer, a big fashion designer in New York and in Paris, but he's from Mississippi. I aspire to be a fashion photographer one day and to take over the fashion industry, such as, you know, New York and Paris. His work ethic and the way that he prevailed through all obstacles to get to where he was kind of spoke to me and it inspired me. For me, it was very important that I did this. I looked at his work and it was very colorful, very diverse. He included all types of women from different ethnicities. So it was important to me that I had a girl that represented a different ethnicity. Um, in high school, uh, we were taught about a lot of African-American designers. And Patrick Kelly was brought up a lot. He's one of the first to be featured in Paris. Well, he was very important to me and it was nice that I was from Mississippi and he was from Mississippi. I think bringing him back home and exposing people in Mississippi to his work is important because creativity is very important and I think it's not treat it like it's important. And I think for people to see that you can do something big with it and you know be successful at it is important for people to see. In 2004, Brooklyn Museum of the Art had an exhibition of his work. In 2014, Philadelphia Museum of the Art had an exhibition of his work. Even though it was delayed, his legacy was not forgotten. So we're going to ensure here at Jackson State University, we do not forget Patrick Kelly's legacy. I think the Patrick Kelly exhibit was very important that we had here at Gallery One on Jackson State campus because he was a student here at Jackson State. Not to mention he was from Mississippi. It's just really a good feeling to know that someone from little old Vicksburg can make it all the way up to Paris. And so I think it was very imperative that the students here should know that he came from here, he worked here, he walked on this campus, and he made it big. The night of the event was, for me, amazing. The turnout was great with was so many people. I didn't realize how many people actually was into Patrick Kelly into that night. On the night of the exhibit, it was definitely a collaborative effort with the students here at Jackson State. They put in their time using their community service hours, and we're so grateful to the team effort. When that six o'clock time rolled around, we opened up the doors and we saw that that line stretched down an entire block. We started here with the Vicksburg mayor. It was a beautiful thing to have the mayor here because it gave students an opportunity to hear his story firsthand from someone who attended grade school with Patrick Kelly, but also someone who attended Jackson State with Patrick Kelly. To hear somebody who actually knew him speak about him and his creativity and things is really nice, you know, to see how it came about instead of where it came from. People who attended the event were 
blown away. They did not expect the turnout that we had, and they said it was amazing that the Gallery One team was able to make the event happen and make the event successful, considering the capacity that we received. Actually, we did not face many challenges. We ensured that we kept it as a collaborative effort. And when we needed mannequins, J.C. Penney sponsored. When we needed someone to recreate inspirational pieces, that's where Cami's Creations came in. When we needed support with financial backing, that's where Title III came in. Title III plays a vital role in programs like the Patrick Kelly exhibit. This type of project gives students an opportunity to come out in their classroom related to art and related to culture as well. There was a long line, so I think the students really became engaged when they realized that Patrick Kelly was just like them. He was once a JSU student. My role here in academic affairs is to ensure that the Title III programs are tied into academic endeavors, that we are providing that service to the students, and we are retaining those students, making them successful in these various Title III programs programs and that they're graduating. I think Will Lyons said it best. I think he's looking down from heaven and he is smiling. I think he's just extremely impressed with the energy and how it inspired not just JSU students but an entire community. Um, I know it took her a long time to make. It makes me feel good. This is more like modern day fashion these days. The crop top and the leggings. I felt that it went pretty good. I was very confident. I felt comfortable on the runway. Everybody looked happy, so. Well, actually I felt like I was a real model and wasn't shy this time and I just felt like I did great. It's fabulous, it's very flowy, you know, and I like the flowy. Stick through it. If you don't get the first one, you'll get the next one. At first, I felt nervous, yeah, but once we hit the once we hit the floor and the lights and everything started flashing, it was out. I was just, my mindset was gone. It was time to put on the show. It makes me feel good because I see that, you know, he was doing something good. And um, he made other people, you know, inspire other people to go out and be successful and, you know, live their dream and do what they always love to do. So it's a great feeling. It makes me feel fun. I like how it's really flowy in the dress. It's see-through, so a little, you know, a little too. Not too much, but um, I really like it. It's really, I feel like it's a really sexy, kind of like a birthday outfit. I like it. <laughs> Patrick Kelly graduated from Jackson State University, and then he went to New York and Paris, I believe. Um, and he created a couple of things, and he designed for Yves Saint Laurent. And so I'm guessing that from his travels, this is kind of like the spicy, like fun vibe that he has going on. That's what I know about my outfit. Today I felt beautiful. I felt like I was wearing something that actually meant something to me and meant something to everyone else. It wasn't just about me wearing a dress, but more of how people felt when they saw me in it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel bubbly, fun. You know, like a lot of clothes sometimes with modeling, people think you just have to be black and just plain. Well, this is just a nice way to bring out the color black with a lot of colors. With the buttons and the buttons, I guess. It's inspiring because to see a black man do fashion, but also brand himself so much to where he can go from Mississippi and that time and age and break down barriers because he was more than just a fashion designer. He's, his shows broke barriers between racial issues because he did multiracial models, black, white, mixed. They were all wearing his designs. And at that time, you really only saw white or skinny or you know, black with slim hair. So he embraced everyone's difference and uniqueness and he even put it in his clothes. So it's very cool to represent.